Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my dad. Man, man, listen. Hey, man, listen, man. Uh, we got some cats done pulled up, man. The real Dallas way. Yeah, there's some niggas in here right now from Dallas, Texas. They're not playing no games, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, and they and they been putting it down, like in the city, for the city, like P. Diddy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> These guys right here, Chase Pat, man, what's up, man? What's up with it? Mr. E, what's up, man? What's up with it, baby? Man, me and you, it's been a long time coming, Mr. E. I got in your inbox over a year and something ago, and the nigga didn't even come on my show, man. Mm -hmm. Some of these niggas hey, don't show up. Don't, don't do me like These that, niggas man. show up when the numbers right. That nigga say, if you don't got a plaque, <laughs> that ain't where it's at. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, no, no, no. We, we got to get that straight real quick before we get going. <laughs> no, I know it wasn't there, brother. I, yeah. I just had to yeah, get you, though. Yeah, you know, man. you got to yeah. think about it. I know when you went, when you did that with uh, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk, shout out, uh, he didn't have hardly no, nobody following him. Yeah. We, we talked about that today. I told him mm -hmm. I was interviewing you finally. Because mm -hmm. he the one put me on you. When you when y'all had did that uh, at at your place with him, right. he was proud of that too. He called me and told me. Yeah, it was a dope interview. Yeah, he told Shout me. Shout out to Lee. Shout yeah. out to my boy. Yeah, yeah, Lee. I call him Trio Talk, no Bill mm -hmm. Talk. Trio That's talk his new name. Yeah, 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 for real. So, Chase Pat, what's up, man? Man, what's up with it, you man? You just hanging yeah. in the cut. Yeah. Say, man, Very let me much. tell you something, man. Back in the day, you were hungry, nigga, for that music, man. You never seen no nigga hungry as you was for that music, man. Oh yeah. Well, you were not trying to hear it. Nah. <laughs> I really still lane. I just, you know, switch lanes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But you was, hey, it was music or nothing else for a minute nah, with you. Square business. I done had some, I done had, uh, I had Gator Man. I done had some people on this show, man. The real ones that, that, that really, really loved the music and that, loved it. You hear that? Like That's that. the country part. Oh, I love that, man. That's the country. Loved it, the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah nah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got some guys that really love the music here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Fat Bastard and them, they did their thing. Tom Tom. I was just in a video with them. Most definitely. Like, everybody did their thing, man. And then you got you producing. You produce for a lot of different people, man. A lot of cats say they want your sound, man. I done had dudes on here tell me they want to work with you. I said, do the nigga do movies or do the nigga do <laughs> music? Producing? What the hell this nigga do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so break that down. Let's let's get in there. No, I'm in there, my wife. Said, yeah, you just you just was taking, I'm just having it. a good time. <laughs> Got some real cats in here that I rock with that that that's really from the city. Yeah, I'm having a good time. So born yeah. and raised in Dallas, right? Born and raised in Dallas. Dallas. Um, with your mom and dad? Yep. Yep. Both parents in the household. Yeah, well, all the way up to about five or six and then they split okay. up. But um, they both went to Bishop College, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Then went right down the street to Holly Hills, had me, and uh, got them a house, and you know. So you split them up. They couldn't deal with you, you just like, they just split you. Well, <laughs> nah, nah. Cause like, he know. too bad, we can't do this. <laughs> nah, uh, they split up when I was about five or six, but then they had my brother too. You know? Oh, okay. May he rest in peace. But, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. they had my brother, so. So, um, but your father was still in your life, cause you were living with your mom, right? That's correct. That's correct. And your dad was still in your life. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then I end up actually going to go live with him. Live with him. You know I mean? Okay. So, How old were you when you lived with him? Uh, like middle school. Middle school. Uh huh. Okay. Because yeah. um, the reason why I always ask that question because there's so many broken houses, broken homes. Right. And right. I wish there wasn't. I wish you know you. Right. Right. Men and women could deal. Right. And be able to raise their kids and stuff like that because they don't realize with these relationships sometimes you fall in and out of love so many times but you have to always come back together and. Do you think? Right. No, absolutely. I'm a big advocate for that. Mm. You have kids? Yes, I have one. One? Daughter. Are you um, with her? With my, with my daughter? Daughter's mom. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's a he's big yeah. advocate. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, my niggas straight know how to do movies. Oh, you yeah. know, I'm a big advocate, but yeah. I ain't willing, but yeah, but I'm, I'm for it, though. But, but you <laughs> know what? We, um, but I think I feel we like. We co parent. I was just going to say, I feel like we, we co parent pretty good. Okay. Yeah. We done had some up and down, but I think we co parent pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But you just couldn't uh, deal with being there. Nah, you know, being young, you know, being how young. Go. on both our parts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so. How long ago did that happen? How long ago? Yeah, did y'all split up? 
Um, uh, probably about six, seven, six, seven years ago. Okay, so like looking that. back because people go through this all the time. Right. Right. Okay, so looking back on it. Do you see where you could have done things differently to have a different outcome? So you can advise some of these people who are, you know, watching, who might be going through the same thing that you went through back however long. I know you didn't go into details of the reason why you split up. Right, right. But looking back, you know, we always can look back on certain situations and be like, man, if I did this different, did that different, if I held on a little bit longer, da da, that would not happen. Right, absolutely. But, you know, my thing is, at the end of the day, I prefer that, we co-parent and do it in a way that's um, feasible for my daughter mm -hmm. rather than being together and constantly fighting and she's having to see something that's toxic and something mm -hmm. that's unhealthy. You know what I mean? Okay. And I just think that right now, the way we have it, I think for right now, that's the you know the best for Did your daughter, daughter ever used to always ask you, are y'all going to be back together? Um, no, not that I can remember. Okay. My, my, my my baby kind of gangster. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. So she loved mama, and of course, you know, she a daddy's girl. Okay. And uh, she looked at it like as long as mama happy and daddy happy, then she happy. So So yeah. how old were you when you got into the music or where you felt like, you know, this is what you wanted to do? Um, In high school, man. So I had to work my hushes, you know what I mean? Uh, in high school, uh, you know, I had a little rap group, mm -hmm. just like most most, most kids okay. in high school. Had a little were rap you good? Group. Uh. I thought we were, you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought we was, uh, and I, I think the city thought we was too. Okay. You know what I mean? We was the I-45 boys. Okay. And, yeah, man, we was doing it back in the day with Pookie and Lucci mm -hmm. and and Chase and DSR and all that was mm -hmm. doing it. But um, I really feel like I, I found my path uh, when it came to the producing. The producing. Yeah. Because uh, I noticed that yeah. um, a lot of times I always ask, you know, who makes more money? And I always say the producers make more money than Absolutely. the rappers. It's not even, you know, I, I say it like this. Um, as an artist, no offense to, <laughs> but but as an artist, you are you, you are a liability, but as a producer, you are an asset. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the, the 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 greatest example of that is B King. Shout out to mm -hmm. B King. You know what I mean? B King such an asset, you know, because he's a songwriter, he's a producer. You know what I mean? Um, always been behind the beats. Always made beats for other artists. Came up with hooks for other artists. You know what I mean? But so, he does both. Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But it, what it does is it yeah. kind of balances it out. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When you see B King, he don't have a whole bunch of chains. You know what I mean? Does have those he's crazy t-shirts? He's, he's just a dope artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> he does those crazy t-shirts, and he's just a dope artist. Right. You know what I mean? He letting the music talk. And it, you know. But then in anything you do, you have to always continually be creative, changing with time because you can't, even being a producer, you can't just keep a certain sound because people get tired of that sound all the time. Am I not right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Well, let me let me say, let me break in, you know, let's get some real spiel right there when I come back in that thing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I talked to B. King the other night. I was impressed somewhat. You know, I'm a real stomp down investigator of whatever conversation is going on at the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I talked to him and, uh, yeah, he said he can hear the music different because he used to be in the band. I get trauma boy or something, yeah. you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, you know, that nigga better get them beats out. We need a hit this year, nigga. Don't try to come out here. Yeah, yeah, we got to have a hit every year, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Jay-Z asked Kanye, can you do it again and again yeah. and again? Yeah, yeah. You know what? It was cool. Yeah. The first 10 times B. King, that's how I give him a shout out. Yeah. I got a hell of a shout out, don't yeah, yeah, I? But yeah, what yeah. about... 2023. You know what is what, it going to be? B King, one of the most consistent artists. He usually artists. do one on a yeah. year. That's yeah. what he do. Yeah, he one of the most consistent artists in, in, in Texas, though. He hard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he I, while I'm messing with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he going to come on with it, too. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And then he going to be like, E, yeah. I told you, nigga, I was coming with it. Yeah. yeah. That's how yeah. I got to be, yeah. man. Yeah. Just good for the culture, man, to have that. So go ahead. I'm going to let you get back on it. But boy, I came in, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Well, so you I'll broke up the group right. to do your own producing stuff. Well, um, wh what it really was was you know everybody be kind of having their own path, mm -hmm. and um, I just I guess my my ambition uh, made me keep going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People, you know, some of the members start having kids and all that old type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy K9. I talked to him <laughs> today. You know what I mean? But the bottom line is, I, I just think that. Producing and engineering and writing and songwriting and uh, doing a lot of networking, it just made me more ambitious and gave me a little more more gasoline. So, how did you, you learn how I mean? to produce? Was it just YouTube, just researching, or I was always musical. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I always 
We're, come on, you know, man. Let's see. Come on, bro. Yeah, I was always music player. You weren't like always. No. Yeah, but, yeah. but if you're yeah. musical, you, you got to figure it yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Ever since I was little. I you could know. not learn how to play the guitar, man. I tried. <laughs> Piano. <laughs> I could play that little Beethoven. Do, no, 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 no. Do, no, 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 no. That was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. I should have kept going. Yeah. yeah. That song's been cold. I was, in the, I was in the band and all that. You know what I mean? So I, I was always musical. You know? But how hard is it to learn how to be a producer? Using those instruments, trying to put it together, the beats together, and doing all of that. I mean, I, I put it like this: like if it was too hard for you to figure it out, then a lot of people wouldn't figure wouldn't it out. Good. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I always thought of things like that: like you know, if it was too difficult to figure out, then nobody would do it. So, you know, I always looked at it like it's just a matter of time. I just need to pour some love into it and just take some time to just figure it out. And that and that's you know and, that's the easy part. And what? Because okay. Because going into any career, you always think of, okay, what am I going to do to make myself different to stand apart from every other person that's doing this? Right, absolutely. So absolutely. what makes you different? Um, I can always hear it when I wake up. I hear A lot of producers yeah. hear it too. Yeah. So what makes you yeah. different? Well, I guess I heard it like in a with your way. beat, like. I, see, and and then like I was, um, I came kind of like an old school producer, so. Like, I was always real fixated on drum patterns okay. and the grooves and, you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like I had a musical ear that a lot of producers didn't have. Mm -hmm. Sometimes producers was, um, they, they was uh, motivated to produce because they wanted to be rich or they wanted to be famous or they wanted to have clout. Or, like, I was, I was just always propelled by the art. You know what I mean? How, was, how hard yeah. was it working with Don Chief, man, like all that time? You did a lot of that music, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy. Shout like out to Chief. How, how, was it, how was it producing? Because the way consistency was around him. Did, how much of that music did you do? Um, Let's I be did real. More, I did more of it during the earlier part of his career. Okay. And then the later part of it, okay. I kind of veered off because then I, I wanted to start doing film. Film, and, yeah. You know what I mean? But when you first started, how was it working with the, with, with the young with the young Don? Man, it was dope. You know, and we were young and we and Chase like, Pat, this, yeah, this is how y'all yeah. end up leaking all that's, that. That's, that's how I met that's so how, how, I met how was it though, like when you seen them, they come in. She was a monster. She was a monster and I feel like we was just above, before our time. You know what I mean? We was really before our time. Like we had a soul and just like a, a real soul that a lot of people just didn't have. Who know? else did you end up linking with during this time? Uh, Chief, Chase, the road, T Cash, um, all the way down to Gotti and um, Silk and Jagged Edge. Like, wow, you I, I got a chance to work so with So you did R&B as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that don't be go hard, don't it? But who Ooh, came on? Somebody boy, came on. Fall in love, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We interviewed. We interviewed um, G and B in Houston the yeah, other day, yeah, we did. And yeah. he was hard. telling us that um, being an R and B producer compared to being a rap producer is two totally different things. Yeah. And some people who does one can't do the other, and That's vice a fact. versa. That's a fact. Because see, the thing about it is with rap, you you relying mm -hmm. on your knowledge of how to work the system. So, you know, you put some drums together, put some sounds together, but a lot of times you relying on the um, the software. Whereas there, there ain't no shortcuts when it comes to R&B. Like you actually have to sit there and play that and then you have to hear it. Mm -hmm. And then you have to take what you hear, hear in your mind and put, you know, actually play it and play it out. And it's just, it's a different skill set. To be and honest. how they referred to it was they said that people who do R&B when it's time for them to do the beat for a rap, it's like it don't come across as grimy and hard as it's supposed to because they're not used to making that type of beat, which is, which you know what I mean? It depends on the producer. Cause okay. when, when, when I heard Pimp C make beats. Whoa, when it, that nigga say Pimp C, you shut yeah. this whole down. Yeah. Stop it right there. Yeah. I'm a straight up Pimp fan yeah. and everybody know it that watch Boss Talk 101. Yeah. We in Texas, nigga. It get hectic, nigga. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> sure. Say, yeah, say man. listen, yeah. man. That's why they, that, that's why this show is like it is, bro. It be, I be in there on something real. Like it's certain yeah. things you're not gonna do, it, and that's bypass the pimp. When we it's, it's pay homage time, you know yeah, what I'm really, saying? Because yeah. what he done for the South, listen, man, ain't nobody else done nothing even close. Yeah. And the realness and the true way that he spoke to the the times and the people during that time, ain't nobody even doing that for our people to even try to help to even bring them together right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? The way he brought the South together and said we are somebody. 
Man, we gotta acknowledge that, bro. Yeah, not for real. I ain't nobody else yeah. done nothing like that even close. Yeah. So I'm going to always punch at it whenever I, you say it. Now, we can go back into the conversation by adding that to you. Let them know. Hey, man, long live the pimp. Shout out to yeah, He's a Leo, man. too. I talked to him earlier today, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Leo. Yeah, so shout yeah. out to my boy. He, he, he a good dude, man. He gave, <laughs> he, um, he gave me a review on the movie and everything. Did he? Uh, shout out to that boy, man. That's my boy. Yeah, he going to always come through. Yeah, yeah. Now, go ahead. Yeah, let's just talk yeah. about the pimp. What you say about the pimp, nigga? I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, long live the pimp. But it was just like... Uh, Pimp C had the ability to have that music just as potent as some drums, and some drums just as potent as that music. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it just depends on the producer. That's all right, man. Yeah. And that nigga yeah. should. That nigga, who he'll sing in there? He'll sing that hook yeah, on you yeah. and make that beat, nigga. Oh, yeah. 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 He'll, Whichever he'll, he'll way you want to do it. He'll take it down through that. <laughs> yeah. He'll take it down through so that. So, I want to get into Chase. So, what part of Dallas are you from? From Pleasant Grove. Oh, Ooh, right up the street. Ooh, yeah. the greedy Grove. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. were you raised with your parents in the household? For about, um, till I was about 10. Okay, a little bit longer. Yeah. So, but at 10, you could remember a lot more. So, how did it feel having them split up? Uh, it was different. It was because my dad was always there, you know, as far as since I was born. So, mm -hmm. for him not there, that's kind of when I probably changed a little bit because he was straight. Really so. mad. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. People blamed it on that, but I don't think I just was probably. He was like free, kid. free at last. Yeah, it felt like that. <laughs> yeah, he actually yeah. did. It changed because he was kind of strict. Right. Like from birth, like you better not move wrong. So a lot of that kind of go with me right now. Okay. From him being at those 10 years, like it put mm -hmm. me down. But my mom was a little lenient. She saved us even when he was hard. She saved us a lot. So. Yeah, but it was different. So although he left, he still didn't come back and try to implement that? Uh, nah, he got, you know, I mean, they kind of fell off a little bit, but through those years, he was, you know, he had a, another family, so. Okay. Just be, you know, you know, he, I guess his hands was full, mm -hmm. should I say, but he tried, he tried. Did you have other siblings in the household, or was it just you? Yeah, I had an older brother and an older sister. Oh, okay, so you the baby boy. Yeah. Okay. He used to ha hang out with Alpha Gaines, brother, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, said, yeah, yeah, said, said gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, nigga. Yeah. I remember you, y'all, nigga, with bad, bad. Shout out to my boy. Said, yeah, for real. <laughs> Who's all right? We were bad. Nah, y'all was good. Y'all was good. We played football. They tried to play. So you were in sports. I was back then. Till he left, and then you stopped, or he still did. No, the older I got, I realized, yeah, these boys hidden. These boys for real. He's gonna take something. <laughs> yeah, it ain't. Yeah, it ain't. I was good, young, but the older I got, the harder it got. So I started seeing like. I'm going to start rapping now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for real. So who inspired you to start rapping? Um, I would say Snoop. Snoop. Really? Yeah, I liked Love Snoop back in 1993. What's your favorite song? It's just that whole first pop album, Doggy Style. Like that first Doggy When I hit that Nina Rose, you know yeah. I got the habit. That nigga was all in. Doggy Style. The first, the first Snoop album I could yeah. listen to from beginning and to end. I used to right? rap it. That was like the first album my mother found out I was listening to cussing type music. Cause what was she? She was mad? Yeah, we had to sneak and listen to the cassette. We had to sneak it. So when did you tell her that you wanted to become a rapper? Um, she knew early, but she didn't really. She always wanted me to do something else. Most mothers do because they feel like rapping don't make no money. Yeah. She so always get a nine to five to job. Else. It wasn't until she started hearing other people saying like, you know your son is like, oh, I know your son. Or if she'll talk to somebody else about, they'll be passing their CD out. She'll be like, you know my son? Like, oh, that's your son? Yeah. she like, man, everybody know you. So she started accepting mm -hmm. it more. In it. Yeah. yeah. That, well, younger now. Oh, that's wow. cool. That's crazy, man. But at the end of the day, the name Chase Pat, is that from where we from? Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's where I'm from. Yeah. That yeah. Aspen Chase, nigga. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. from the from the we call it the chase, but everybody from the chase, yeah. Yeah. They know. They already yeah. know. They know, yeah. They go way back, man. Yeah. And and that's the whole game, like, man, like you gotta they had remember the the hood boy the hood was it was what was the boy's name? Hood niggas hood and niggas. zoo niggas. Zoo, yeah, 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 yeah. That <laughs> yeah. was back in the game. That was a group? Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. And they kinda influenced me too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be like them, but I seen them doing it. At our neighborhood before I ever had a chance, they didn't ever want to hear me rap. Yeah, I was young. I was like, I can rap too. I can rap. They didn't want to hear it. Nah, they didn't want to hear it, man. Wow. But that motivated me though. That's the motivator. That man. motivated me for real. So, how did you have to prove yourself to people? Well, 
for me, any chance that I had to rap, I rapped. And every time anybody heard me rap my voice, they'd be like, come to the studio. It was mm-hmm. just like, can you rap? Well, rap. I rap. I used to freestyle all day, you know. How long did it take you to get to your first big song that everybody just, that was it? Um, I would say probably about around 2005, five six. And how long were you doing rapping to get to that point? On a serious level, probably yeah. from 2003. Okay, so, yeah. About three years in. But mm-hmm. some of those first projects that I did on my own, people was liking them. Okay. Wow. I like the fact of how you guys evolved. We're going to get into the movie, you know, uh, um, Triple D Revenge. Mm-hmm. You know, but I want to, you know, I, I, I want to just, just what, what made, what gives you the motivation and the drive, you know what I mean? To really, you know, say this is, I'm going this way with it. You just wanted to, you wanted change to take lanes. it down, change lanes, um, create opportunity well, you, for others. You, you know what? what More was, money. I always, <laughs> I, I didn't know, you know what? I didn't really know anything about the money to be honest with you. And I, that's I, a good always, thing. Yeah. I always had an imagination, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So doing Music with Chief, you know what I'm saying? I finally, we finally, he finally started really getting to the visuals, you know what I mean? So um, there was there was a a, a, a music director, I mean a, a music video director. Mm-hmm. He started doing the uh, music videos and I used to help him write the treatments, you know what I mean? And that kind of got me a little closer to it. And then one day he was just like, hey man, let's do a movie. Mm-hmm. He's like, I want to do a movie, but I can't do it without you. Because at the time, I had a lot of relationships with the artists that was out here. Right. You know what I mean? So the bottom line is I was like, okay. And um, I started reaching out to artists that I had relationships with. And some, you know, some came through and some didn't. Chase was one of the ones that came through. I was always a Chase fan. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, the bottom line is, you know, I always could write. So he gave me the characters. I kind of wrote the story for the characters. And next thing you know, we had the premiere watching the Triple D movie. You know what I mean? Shout out to that whole crew. You know what I mean? How different is producing music compared to doing directing this? Um, it's the same in the capacity that it's our creator. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and it, it, it's, it takes a collaborative effort from different people. But it's, it's totally different because um, when you're looking at something, then it's is is sometimes it's harder to subscribe to something until you really see something that's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, because to me, when you're dealing with, cause when you're doing a movie and you're dealing with so many people compared to when you're just producing a song for somebody, you're dealing with that one person. Yeah. And, you know, you just have to deal with making it exactly what how they want it compared to when you're dealing with a movie, you right. got to make sure everybody do what they're supposed to do to your vision of how it's supposed to be. Right. And not everybody can execute it the way how you see it. Right. Well, well I, I can put it like this. You know what? It's, to me, it's easier with music because people tend to be a little um, less hard on music. You can play a record and then go and run some errands. You can play a record in the car while you're driving. And at some point, it'll grow on you. Mm -hmm. Movies are something different because what it requires is your full attention. Mm. So you literally have to stop what you're doing, and it has to be interesting enough to keep your attention. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. So, um... You don't want nobody falling asleep in the movies. Yeah, you know? Well, (laughs) I mean, you know, you don't want them falling asleep because they're bored. (laughs) You know what I mean? Right. And it's a totally different thing to end up on location and pull out a camera and entertain people for two hours. Wow, and then how hard much. is it and how hard is it to because I know that everybody you had on cast how many of them actually had um, experience in being actors let's go to the first one first Triple okay. D yeah with the first okay. one yeah that first, I, that, that first one was e- it was harder or, or the second one was easier or what no I, I can't even say that either one of them was easier which or one was the easiest uh, probably the, second. the first no no probably mm-hmm. the first one was the easiest because you know, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. We didn't know. We didn't know. You know, we was just ambitious, and we just wanted to come up with a movie. You know what I mean? And and, and at the time, in 2014, that was something that a lot of people in Dallas weren't doing. Right. Definitely. You know what I mean? So uh, we was just ambitious, and we was just excited about the idea of coming up with a movie. We wasn't really so much focused on making sure that our mm-hmm. T's were crossed and our eyes and dotted. I knew I could write. And we knew we could try to act, and we got on set, and we just did the best we could. Did a good job. 
Man, thank you. Yeah, I watched thank that you. one too. That was early on, but I can't. It's kind of kind of gray blurry. area, but blurry. <laughs> yeah, but, but but I remember because you yeah. you gotta understand what what, what wherever Chase at or where whatever going on with with the people <laughs> around in Dallas. <laughs> I'm definitely tapping Tap in. in. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, for real. But I for might sure. not say nothing, but I'm watching. No, like, for okay, sure. Ain't for sure. Yeah, the, the first Triple D was, I, I would say that that was fun. Now, when I got to the second Triple D, I already knew that people was like, all right, now, we got your little grace on the first one. What you, <laughs> what, what you got? You know what I mean? And it was kind of cool because I had took the time to study filmmaking for about six or seven years. Mm -hmm. So at that point, it was my time to put that to the test. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I went down yeah. and watched uh, uh, what, Dirty Third mm -hmm. uh, with pro Propane and all of them. The they generation. invited me down. I went down and checked them out. Huh? And they waited a the long time they before they put the second one out. Right. It was years. Uh, it, so uh, it made me think of the way that they that whole wave is going. I think yeah. that's it's kind of paralleling. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I think that's hard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out shout to Big Gaddy, tight eyes. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And shout so. out to Boomtown who yeah. be paid it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, so when you guys, y'all, so uh, when you did the first one, uh, you you got past that. Now you come to the second one, baby. I see he was in, in it, but then Mo three, R.I.P. to Mo three. He Mo ended up being in it. Sure. Just talk, take me down the road of how you guys end up. Even bringing him on the set and saying, this is what you guys want to do. I want to jump right into that. You know what? Believe it or not, Mo3 was the first one I casted from Triple D Revenge. Wow. He was the first one I casted. And um, we talked about it right after tri the, uh, the Triple D movie. I talked to him about it. You know what I mean? Wow. And he said he would do it. So six or seven years later, we come back and I asked him about it. And I just knew he was going to tell me, hell no. Which Why? He well, because you know, at the time he was a he was a different Blow. artist. Mm -hmm. He was bigger, bigger. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It was more of a demand for his music, mm -hmm. the whole nine. You know what I mean? So like, you know, and I would have understood that if he would have said no. Nah, but like, man, three was solid, and he kept his word, and he was like, mm -hmm. nah, we're gonna still do it. That's so it, it, anyway. The bottom line is, I went to Mo three, and I was like, um, bro, you know, we talked about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you still gonna do it? And to my surprise, he was saying, yeah. And then I knew I really, I knew I was really gonna counsel myself out because I had to turn around and tell him, all right, bro, if you do it, you gotta take acting classes. So he did some acting classes? Man, he did about three or four months of acting classes. Really? Uh-huh. And you saw the difference? Oh yeah, definitely. It's a def definitely difference when you formally trained. Chase did acting classes too. No, he was the bomb in it. <laughs> yeah, he did. Acting I liked too. his acting in it. Yeah, and 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 I, and I really just wanted everybody to have formal training. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The way I looked so at it. So everybody had to do acting classes. No, not at all. Because to be honest with you, majority of the of the the stars that I casted, mm -hmm. uh, the people that was out front were were actors. Okay. You know what I mean? Actors and actresses. Shout mm -hmm. out to the to the cast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But a lot of them was acting for a living or had a degree in acting or went to school for acting or whatever. You know I, know, what I, mean? I noticed Mo3 didn't, didn't have like a huge role in there. He was in the beginning part, did a couple pieces. But me watching the movie for the first time, because I didn't watch part one. Right. I just watched part two. Right. I really thought that I would have seen him a lot more. Um. Well, to be honest with you, he didn't do every single part. <clears throat> that um, was in the script mm. because, I mean, obviously he passed on. Mm -hmm. But he did everything that he needed to do in order for his character to make sense in, in the film. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that. It almost reminds me of um, Paul Walker, Fast and the Furious, because he had passed away during that whole, you know, right. movie and right. so forth, but they right. still implemented certain parts of things that they had recorded previously yeah. or even get like a double gang or somebody to play certain parts you know showing him from behind which is really wasn't him but right. looked like yeah, him right. just to give him the credit to make sure that his kids get his daughter actually right. you know would get money from the movie and so forth right. so even going forward because i'm sure you're going to do another one will you have like a mo3 look alike that might you know do certain parts in the movie um, just now, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a, a Mo three look alike. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. But what I would do is I'll um, write something in dedication mm -hmm. of Mo three and who he was. You know what I mean. Okay. So we just have to see how that go. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. And, and so yeah. so <clears throat> when you when 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 this here happens, I mean, with the way the city is, let's be real for a minute. You know, I have oh, some yeah, real quick. Sure. This boss talk. Hey man. 
Let's you go. know, when Let's you go. when you take and add a Mo three to this movie, with all the controversy surrounding his, his him as a as a as an artist, uh-huh. um, did that kind of did that make things a certain way, or or did certain people not get involved because of the way that the conflict was in the city? Um, you know, if they did, they never came to me about it. Okay, you know what I mean. And Mo three was the only rapper that I was really interested in having in Triple D Revenge. And of course, what I mean by rapper, because we had other cast members that did music, but, um, you know, rapper that was really going on tour, on the radio, really active, Mo3 was the only one, you know what I mean? Because what I really wanted was, I wanted mostly actors, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to play ball, you know? And that's why I had Chase Pat, and um, a few of the others, hey man, like Bay Bay, hey man, take acting classes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when, when and, and I'm gonna stay on Mo three for a second. I know for sure. Like when when he ends up dying, when he gets killed on the street, like he did. Right. At eleven fifty five. Uh, you know the movie is not finished. Right. What are your thoughts, and how do you deal with it? You know, far as what 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 do you plan at that point? Do you start assessing? Okay, first of all, it's tragedy. Yeah, and you yeah. know, of course, we react to this a tragic thing. Right. But when it comes to the business, how do you respond, and what do you do to try to prepare yourself for how you're gonna get this movie out? Well, you know, when we first heard the news, I, I'll be honest enough to say that I thought it was a joke. You know, what yeah, I mean? yeah. We, we thought that yeah. it was a prank. You know yeah. what I mean? Because shout out to Rain. You know, sometimes him and Rain they be kind of like doing little pranks and you yeah. know little stuff. Yeah. But the bottom line is when I figured out that it was real. Then the last thing on my mind was the movie. Of course, but right. you had um, to move forward with the movie yeah, in order for we, the movie we, to come we, out, we, so let's we, get to that. Yeah, we had to move forward, but uh, I, I, I believe that we kind of use that as motivation. Okay, you know what I mean? got you. We kind of use it as motivation to kind of keep pressing on, and we just looked at it like, man, we got to get this shit out now because, um, you know, this is, number one, a dream of his, and number two, this is an opportunity for us to continue his legacy. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but when yeah. something like this happens, uh-huh. I, uh, talking with uh, Mr. Lee and different people that uh, work with different artists that pass away, right. uh, now we start to look at the paperwork a little different and how things are going to be, you know, done with how you know people are going to be uh, compensated for whatever situation may turn out to be. How easy or how hard was that for you to deal with that part of it? Um. Say, Pat, I'm interviewing now. He's yeah, like, this yeah. nigga done went in. Yeah, He's like, yeah. I didn't even know this yeah, boy yeah, was going to go yeah, there on the mouth. Yeah. He's yeah. like, woo, this nigga, we on boss talk, man. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Go ahead. I just had to yeah. give it to you, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Anytime, you know, somebody passing and they're not here to speak for themselves, That's right. now you got a million people trying to speak lot. for them. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to say that it don't get complicated, because it do. But I just did my best to try to remind everybody, like, Hey man, the, the the bigger picture here is leaving the legacy for him, and doing something in his honor. You know what I mean? And allowing ourselves an opportunity to be part of something that could live on, and you know, for Mo three. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that that was my thing. I wasn't really tripping on the money. I you know, people want to argue about that, but it's, it's hard to slice a pie that ain't even here yet. Yeah. You know what, what, I mean? what about Rain? How how was it working with Rain after this? Because Rain had to pick up a lot of situations and and go a lot lot. Uh, uh, he had to go, you know, basically, you know, deal with a lot of situations and things when it came to albums, when it came to different things. Was he one that also gave his input on on the uh, Mo three part of the movie, or he didn't even bother? No. Nah, well, to be honest with you, Rain was a help from the very beginning because he was making sure that. Three got there on time. He was making sure that Three was on point with his acting classes and all that. Man, shout out to Rain. You know what I mean? Okay. So, like, I I, I, can, I don't even got nothing to say about him concerning mm. that. Now, when it came to once he passed, you got to understand that Rain is hurt. Of course. Mm-hmm. you got he, got he got a million people in his ear, at his head and all that. But at the end of the day, I think we was able to get past that. You know, and you know, Rain was a big part of it. Yeah, so he, I mean, he's literally a big part of, of um, you know, the film and the whole nine. That's so, it. That's yeah. all. Yeah. So Chase, Pat, how was it? How was it? Did you get to work with um, Mo Three during the film? Or how was it different? Did. Different sets. It was different. It was definitely it was different sets, but during the 
when we first started getting together, of course he was there, but when he shot, nah, I wasn't there for most of the shots okay. that he was there. Probably yeah. played the background on a couple of them, but most of his shots, nah, I definitely wasn't there. Yeah. It was different yeah. sets. Yeah, different sets. And, and, but it's just something to be remembered, man. It, it, a lot of people, you know, when that movie came out, I, I remember the, uh, the hype around, you know, when you did the premiere and all that. Right. And a lot of people, uh, shout out to Bebe and all those guys, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, um, just a litany of guys coming together, and, and, and I thought it was it unifying. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it had a sense of unity in the fact of, Doing that, so I commend you. It was because, Dallas. Yeah, it was. It was. It was it's a commendable effort. Amen. It, you, it, that's 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 something that people may overlook, but when you really got an eye to see, you're gonna see the fact of how this was a healing process as well. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, this is a part of it. I've told Rain on here that you didn't give yourself time to heal pretty much. Mm -hmm. You basically you out here going in on everybody trying to figure it out, mm -hmm. and you know already. That ain't that ain't the time to heal. That he didn't give himself that time because he didn't have that time allotted because of the mm -hmm. stuff that was happening with the label and the music and That's all real. that. And then people saying he was a part of it and all kind of stuff. You know, it's just crazy. But at the end of the day, for you to be able to pull what you did off in the midst of it, man, I commend you. Man, I, I commend you guys that, for even you know pushing forward, man. And and, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this: I wouldn't have been able to do it without you know, man, like people like Chase. See, because Chase saw everything from the from the beginning. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But just, I had a good, solid cast and crew, and people could have just started dropping out and said, you right. know what, I don't want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. But they was bold enough to stand with me and like, nah, we're going we're gonna to finish this, man. So shout out to them, and just shout out to the city for, you know, coming out and supporting it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah. You know, um, so Chase, what, what? I mean, how do you feel like the movie done, you know, far as – when you looked at it and seen yourself, because, you know, I, when we talked to Propane, Propane say, man, I wish I could go back and do this part because I would have did a better part. And I, I didn't know how I was looking on it because it was his first <laughs> time doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, but he did a good job. Yeah. But he just always was digging to say, I was trying I to could do, do better. a little better, man. Right. I feel, I feel, <laughs> you know, I like it. They, you know, I took classes. They guided me, make sure. But I still watch it and feel similar. <laughs> I feel similar sometimes. But that's motivation. Yeah. Because I know it's, it's just the beginning for where I'm going to take it to. Yeah. It's just like you starting to do music. So I'm inspired to take it to a level that people who see me in this movie might not even think what I'm trying to take it to. Yeah. So I know I'm hungry. And I know I'm going to take it to a whole other level. Just studying it. I'm like, okay. Wow. And I'm taking other classes now, so I'm getting better. So it's like, yeah. it, the sky's the limit. And now watching, um, since you've crossed over into this lane, now I can imagine when you're watching a movie, you don't watch a movie the same way how you used to. <laughs> I study and I can see, and you get tips from other, you can see like, okay. Like I was watching some things, I'm like, I can see she did that or he did that. You know, mm -hmm. I was watching um, Wednesday on um Netflix and the little girl she got the dead eyes I was like my eyes gotta stay dead the whole time and she was doing that wow. so I can just study other you know artists and how they are perfect it's not just something you just wake up and do you have to really become that person wow. and one thing um, someone said I can't remember who said this in the interview but I think it was propane and he was like what gave him comfort to know that you know he didn't do such a bad job is when he watched even some of these big movies and big actors and right. you can see their mistakes that they've made oh, yeah. like even if they make mistakes then I'm yeah. good right. <laughs> right. 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 we've all seen movies from big actors we'd be like come on now <laughs> we, we see it so of course that gives you confidence right. but like I always knew working with Mr. E from even doing music to now doing movies he's like He's like a, you know, one of those mad scientists on anything he does. So, like a Kanye West or Timberland, like you know what I mean. They put a lot of time into it. So he was being modest when he was talking about his production. But even when like I come writing all day, but he challenges me when I was doing music. And the same thing goes when I'm doing movie. Like nah. So sometimes he he, he sometimes he hard to work with. He gonna challenge you though. But yeah, I like I that. <laughs> but I like that. You know what I mean. That's what you need. So. A lot of that came and made the movie for what it was, too. So you out there checking folks on the set. <laughs> nah, 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 let me tell you something. I, you know what? I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never even talked to nobody about this, but I, I think it was one time we had did a single, mm -hmm. uh, me and Chase. And um, 
I ain't gonna lie, it's literally the favorite song, my favorite song that I ever produced. It was a single for Chase. You know what's what I mean? The, what's the name of the song? It was called Calling Me. Mm. And it just kind of had like, uh, shout out to Verse, he was on the hook and he just had this pimp feel. And you know, it had just like this pimp C feel, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, the record was dope. So what happened was, I think like Chase had put it out. So I called him, I said, no, 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 we can't put it out like that. <laughs> and say, you know, Chase, Chase is always cool. But I think Chase hit that. Say, man, check this out. <laughs> 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 hey, man, Chase hit that, you know what I mean? But it's like, Chase is one of my favorite artists and I always want to see him win, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And now that he's acting like, even on screen, like I like to see Chase on screen. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he does a really he, good job. He translate very well, and he gives the whole movie like Dallas. You know what yeah. I mean? Because so, I hate to see yeah. actors who yeah. um, I'm like, what she said, bootleg. I can keep calling it bootleg because I'm like, I can tell you're not an actor, but for you, when I see you act, I can't tell nah, that you at believable. all. You're, you're believable. You're believable. Thank you. I've been getting a lot of love like that too. Oh, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I said my boy like get that. and my boy getting good at this. Yeah. My boy <laughs> yeah. getting good yeah. at this. So yeah. you can hang yeah. you're gonna hang up the the uh, music hat and just go straight. That nigga straight love that music. You I know. love that music is in my soul, but the act <laughs> the acting that's been feeding that desire. It's been feeding a lot, so it's kind of changing, but I've also been thinking about it. So, new music is definitely on the way. <laughs> new music is definitely on the way. But that's, I think that's the alley oop, though, to to doing it. You 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 want to do it in a way to where both complements the both. other. Mm -hmm. And you can, why not do both? With the de today's time, anything could pop at any time. Some of your older tracks could pop on TikTok or anywhere. Yeah. You just, some of your tracks, anything, your loops, anything that you've done, with the way today's society is, anybody could grab anything at any minute. That's why you got to keep on praying. You got to keep on hustling because that's the whole game. You know that's what I'm saying? Sure. To keep sure. praying and keep hustling, and then God going to do the rest. But mm -hmm. I love the generation that we're in. And when I say that, meaning it it shows like there's any regular person that I can be an actor or actress as well because I don't know if y'all remember when you were growing up, the people that you saw on the big screen or on the screens were all the big actors or actresses that's been, you know, doing it, whatever. Right. And now you look on movies, Netflix and stuff, and these are just regular people who just got into certain, I'm going to create my own movie. And I say that, I don't mean to cut you off, but I've said that I was like, I see some of these comedians that's making it off um, Facebook, Instagram, I'm like, bro, 20 years, he wouldn't have made it. He would have to go through Eddie exactly. Murphy and been under him for 10 years. He would have had to go through a process. And I see some of these women that's, maybe they 50 years old, they've been singing their whole life, but they got a platform and they blow for the world like, oh mm -hmm. my God. But she been trying to make it exactly. the, the record label way and they wouldn't sign her maybe because how she looked or whatever. But Or she's too old. Or she was too <laughs> old. So now when you hear it like, man, that voice is amazing. So, this day and age, you can definitely, it's definitely too many avenues yeah, to. Yeah, for anybody to get. Anybody. Wow. And, and you know what? The thing about it is the industry took the bias out of it. Mm -hmm. The moment that you was able to start streaming and you can get on this network and that, that network, what you did is they, they moved the middleman out. You know what I mean? It used to be a time where like there was a gatekeeper that you had to go mm -hmm. through in order to get to daytime TV mm -hmm. or major networks. And now it's so much content and so many producers and so many networks that now, like as long as you got something that's dope, that uh, people gonna mess with you. And you know do you I mean? think that the big screen is becoming a thing of the past? Because to me, all the people that are making movies now are going to your 2Bs, your Netflix right, and all right, of those. Right. They're not going to the big screen. Is it because going to the big screen is harder for them to get to the big screen? Is it easier for them to get to those channels? Well, the, the pandemic taught you that you can survive at home. Okay. You know what I mean? So what happened is during the pandemic, when people thought that they had to go out, now they didn't watch everything on Netflix, they didn't watch everything on Tubi, they didn't watch everything on the networks. You know, now they making money at home, they staying at work, they homeschooling the kids, and they didn't figure out how to survive at home. So now people like, you know, even though the pandemic over with, they like, we ain't got no reason to leave the house. Yeah, technology, yeah. technology yeah. put you at the house. Yep. 
Unless you just want to get out. Technology has got us doing a lot of things different. Technology is what caused the music to hurt a little bit, but then on the other side, it it may have caused the film area to do good a little bit. Uh, It's just like people producing music at such such a high rate, you know. Same thing with film, though. I think we wouldn't have the Tyler Perry we had today if he didn't wasn't consistent enough to keep bringing those movies as fast as he did. So, do you think you're too romantic with the music? I mean, with the with the with the with the films, do you think you're taking too long? Do you think that you got to get faster, or are you gonna take your time and the next project ain't gonna come for another five years? Well, you know what? In films, some producers are about quantity, and then some producers are about quality. I always been about quality, even when I was doing the music. But how long we got to um, wait, Mister E? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, my dude. We could do something, a short I mean, let me film, ask you, I mean, or was, something. Was Triple D Revenge dope? It was dope, but you leave got, me alone. No, you got to <laughs> keep bringing it. We looking, we hungry. Right, right, right Feed me, sure. you know what I'm saying? No, no, for sure, for sure. You got for to sure. bring it. Because sure. if we want to win, mm-hmm. yeah. you got to have something else, and you got to go. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah, mad with 50. Because you because romantic. I see what's going on, bro. <laughs> you'll bring a nigga over your house, and I heard about you, my nigga. You want to sit there and watch this movie five, six times? I'm not going to do that yeah, with you. Yeah, Niggas yeah, told me yeah, about it. I said, no, I'm not going over there. I'm not going over there. Bro, he got. I'm on another movie. You know what? <laughs> what it, you know what, what? What? What it really was was. Um, it's usually everybody else. Like I wanted the film out as soon as I got done. Like I wanted it out. But when you're dealing with distributors, when you're dealing with aggregators, you're dealing with film houses, you're dealing with production companies. They tend to take their time. You well, I mean? while you're doing that, yeah. and. As soon as you finish with that, just start another movie. It doesn't have to be another Triple D. It can be something else. Start another movie. So you're working on three, four different movies at the same time. So it'd be a Mr. E production. It just comes out. Yeah, so no, we no, get this, I agree. This I billion. Agree. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree. But then, because I, I always talk about 50 Cent because the way right. how he did it was, to me, genius, but the only thing I hate about it is the fact that he takes so long to bring the seasons back around and it pisses me off because I'm like, man, how you going to get me so hooked on this right. and then... Right. Oh, it didn't come out. It's supposed to come out, but That's didn't come out. I'm like, do. it pissed me yeah. off. But then he That's started with Ghost. Do. Yeah. Uh-huh. And everybody loved Ghost. Uh-huh. And then now his son came a Raising Cane and all of that. And then, but I like the way how he branched off. He had Tommy do his own thing over here. And then this one has their Which own that thing. Which wasn't that good. But people still watched it. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm telling Let's tell the truth. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all want to like Tommy. Leave Tommy alone. Leave well, good. him alone. Let's be real like about Tommy. that one for a minute. <laughs> no, I liked it. Uh, you like that one? That, that one? My, my favorite one is Raising nah, Cane. No, 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 no. You I like Raising Cane? I'm trying to scoop past. Oh, no, oh, better than Ghost. No, no, right. we're talking about Thomas. Ghost was no, the number Tommy. one. Okay, so, yeah, let's talk about so, Thomas so, for a minute. So I'm going I'm to I'm keep, I'm keep it real. <laughs> Tommy, the the, uh, the book with Tommy, it was hard for me to get through it. See? It was hard for me to get through it. I like Tommy. No, let's Tommy be real. He yeah, didn't hit right on that one. You think about that one? Might not have been the one. Let's be real. Where you Y'all think gotta about tell the fit of the truth, man. Yeah. No, so when you think about Tommy, you yeah. saw Tommy mm-hmm. Gross. He was under Ghost the whole time, and then now nah. he's stepping out nah. of his own, see, trying to do his own uh, 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 thing. See, see, I'm gonna tell you what it was. We were so interested in Tommy because G- Tommy and Ghost was like they was that duo, right? But Tommy can't hold his own. That's right. real. So, I agree exactly. with that. So, he, he can't, he can't exactly, hold but own. we keep watching it to see if he gonna mess up. No, no, we don't keep watching it. I missed a lot of episodes. <laughs> we don't keep it. watching okay, it. Okay, I watched it. We go to sleep 50, on it. I got we don't. You. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I love Fifty, but that one right there, he could have kept that one. Y'all don't want to yeah. tell the truth. He nah, could have kept a, that nah, one. I'm gonna keep it live. I'm gonna keep it live. Oh. Tommy, to, to me, like Tommy is not interested, interesting enough to hold his own for me to watch a whole season. I agree. Okay, so 100%. out of all of them, you out of that. all of them yeah. Yeah. that he's done, which one is your favorite between Ghost, Raising Ghost, Kane, easy. or okay, Power? I know Tommy is not in there, or um, BMF. No, no, that, let's not include BMF <laughs> no. because that's different producers. But l- l- let me tell you this: uh, shout out to Courtney Kemp too. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. amazing showrunner, amazing writer. You know, what I mean, very inspiring to watch her work. But um, for me, I like Raising Canaan. Because it's so original. I'm talking about, first of all, the acting is top notch. The Better acting, than power. The cinematography is top notch. The only thing that power had over Raising Canaan was the writing. The writing was brilliant. And, and 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 I feel like that that writing team and that writing staff was hungry when it came to power. Mm-hmm. But Raising Canaan from a production standpoint and just like just dope, man, Raising Canaan for so. Man. The actors was way better. The budget was way better. Like, 
the 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 um the bad guy. Uh, oh, girl, I can't never remember her name when it's time to talk about it. You talk about the one, like, on, the one, the one boy, playing the mother. on her. Bro. I like Mary, I like Mary like, Jane. Ooh. A real boss. Man, which yeah. one? Which one are you talking about? You talking about the mom. Candy mama. Yeah, oh, okay. Candy okay. mama. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she, okay. but she, it's she, Tasha. Yeah. Tasha, that's her name on the thing. On the, yeah, that's how I call her, Tasha. <laughs> What's that's Tasha? her real Isn't name. Tasha? Tasha was her name on the show. Man, y'all need to look her name up. Y'all wrong for that, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas acting real good. Tasha was, Tasha was both wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. You still so he's thinking not about Tasha. You talking about that? No, no, no. We, we talking, talking about, about raising Canaan. Canaan. Yeah. We talking about oh, the woman. Her, her, her. The one yeah, that yeah, shot, yeah, shot yeah, a few yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. They run up on folks. She thinks she's bad. Gun. She too. She, yeah. she, she, nah, that's too. She. Mm. But you can yeah, hate, man. but you can yeah, hate over true. there. If that's the case, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, that's the case if, yeah, if that's the case, she should have went ahead and and killed her old man instead of sending him to go try to kill him. Oh, I see what you're saying. No. Yeah, I see, I is see she that saying. bad? Like, no. why is she going to send her son? She coaching her son. To ch- because but he son, didn't even know well, that that was his daddy at the time. But but the thing about it is, her son was close to him. Omar Epps. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know that, but yes, but he always would call her to meet up to talk about him. You could have easily got him at any time if you wanted to. Hey, Miss D, let yeah. me skip subject. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could make us something like that in, yeah. in D, man? Oh, ah, yeah, man. And my boy ah, Pat, yeah. let's just get it going. Put yeah. that boy in a suit. Man, let's get, that, let's yeah. get the Escalade popping. Yeah. Let's let that boy ride in the back. Pull man. up. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Man, let me tell you something. I just need to check the clear. If I get if I get the money, then it's, it, it's, a, it's a Man, it's a, that's all. How, so are you looking... To are you trying to build that investment? Like, absolutely. Like absolutely. you know that 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 populace up for absolutely. yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. That'd be hard, man. Can't wait I to see it. Question. I know you can do it. Man, so you've been to acting classes, yeah, and you know a lot about film. Are those like going back to power? Are a lot of those? How do they make those sex scenes look? Here so we real? go. Well, yeah, they, got they, they got them old draws on under there. I know what's going on. <laughs> draws on under there. Yeah, they got Do them old draws, so? them little old tight speedos no, on. No, because right. sometimes you peek and you see something. Look at it. He looking. Go tell him, Chase. Chase, you that old really bony. Chase, you that old really bony, man. Chase goosing for his life. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, they, it's close. It's not real, but it's close. So it's not real. No, nah, it's not real. It's not real. Well, we it's had close. It's very. It gets very intimate. We but co- how do men but, ca- control themselves? Well, it's very controlled. It's well, yeah. Exactly. How do you know? You don't know. No, no, no. no. But I'm, I'm just because they always say they've always said men only think with one thing, but no, you get so heated nah. and doing all of that. How do you are, control yourself? But those are men who probably never had. Attention never for me. I can be professional around a beautiful woman. I can be like that and not be oh, because in my mind I'm like it's not that time. But if I knew it was like that time, maybe I would know. But mentally, I can be in control. But like it's not the time. You're professional. Mm-hmm. This is what we're doing. So they never felt uncomfortable, and I never felt uncomfortable. Because I'm short. When he was on the show, he talked about his professionalism. I was thinking about it. He that. was also talking about the fact that when he did stump the yard. He had to kiss Megan Good, who was his friend. She is his friend, been knowing her for years. It was hard. He had to drink just to kiss her because that was like really his, his friend. This is his sister. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and then he talked about also being professional, but he also talked about slipping up with Britney Spears because of when they their work relationship. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's times yeah. I know that you might fall short when he was younger, but as he's matured and gotten older, just like yourself. You learn to control your members better, right? But it's not That's even it. just that. He's he also mentioned that you gotta think about this. Filming a movie can take how long? Absolutely. Long time. A Absolutely. very long time. Absolutely. And you are building acting with this same person yeah. every single day, building a friendship that yeah. sometimes Mr. Mrs. Smith. You can yeah. right, and that's exactly what, what he said. And he, it, it blur lines blur because a lot of people, even like Twilight, I remember I used to love to watch Twilight, and they ended up into a relationship after that. Yeah. So people there's so many movies where people acted together and ended, ended up in a relationship. I yeah. can see how it happens. You definitely get close because like I said, you you got to become that person, so she becomes right. that person. So, but some, so I can see how that can happen if y'all are both single. But if they don't, and you, <laughs> you know, said, that's real. If, it, they, if, if you both single, if you y'all tend both to let a lot of relationships end too. Yeah, it can end yeah. a relationship yeah. too yeah. sometimes, depending yeah. on the person. And you yeah. know, part of the relationship. Well, you won't be doing no anyway. acting. They did your turn. <laughs> ass ain't gonna be sliding up against no nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I'm not. Uh, 
Uh, what's that nigga name? Dwayne Wade, and you not Gabrielle <laughs> Union riding this hoe. I can tell you that right now. So you now. won't make me. You won't Hell allow no. me to act with interest. And I ain't interest. gonna allow me that. Interest trying to holler at you in real life. Nigga. He said I'm not gonna allow me. That. <laughs> this nigga trying to holler at you in real life. What the hell? Yeah. Hell no, nigga. Mike not need to pull up. He can't be on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Way more often than not, people are professional. Way more often right. than not. And then you got to think about it when you're doing. Uh, a, a sex scene it's people in the room it's lights in the room yeah um, you're doing take after take you know what I mean it's not as comfortable of a setting as if you really intimate with a young lady you know what I mean at any given moment we're gonna say cut, cut. we're gonna say okay and, and and to be honest with you it's mathematical it's, it's nothing romantic about it you know what I mean um, you, you're acting how draining must it be to keep on turning that on and off after hearing cut okay Go, cut, go, cut. You got to get back in that mode. Yeah, that yeah, must yeah. be draining to keep doing that all the time. Oh, yeah, we were shooting all night to, to the early morning, to the next morning mm -hmm. sometimes, till the sun came back up. So, yeah, wow. so you leave feeling drained for sure. But one thing I can say about it, Chase Pat, what you don't need to do is give up. We need good actors in Dallas, and we need you to stay focused. Uh, Mr. E, we need good producers, Represent. good writers, good representatives for Dallas. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you guys are the dopest that I've... What's shout out to all the filmmakers. All of the filmmakers need a yeah. shout out, because this ain't no easy job, man. So how can people get a hold of if they're trying to get in a movie, man? Uh, man um, most of the time I'm on Instagram, you know, um, at director Mr. E, uh, director underscore M-I-S-T-A underscore E. A lot you know of girls man? try to give you something to get in a movie. Yeah, nah, I'm nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You know what, man? I, I just, I just be so focused on work because it's you ain't got so time much for work. The yeah, so it, man, <laughs> so that's what we need publicists for, man. Shout out to April. You know, what yeah, man? yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's your publicist. Yeah, uh huh. April yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she did yeah. try to hit me up about you, See? but April came on act a damn fool on on on, on uh, Big D the mogul that time. Yeah, about uh -huh. woman about that dang list. Yeah, you remember uh, that stuff? And she said she. Yeah, see what uh, I'm saying about that list. Shout out to April. Shout April, out to yeah, she yeah. said that list, that gatekeeper list ain't right. You be on that gatekeeper list? Nah, I don't be. You ain't make it. Huh. Damn, April. Big nah, D nah, always be yeah, big. I don't, I don't take nothing personal, though. bro. I, I do. Big D wrong for that. <laughs> big D wrong for that, bro. <laughs> 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 now that gatekeeper list pissed people off. Yeah, yeah. yeah him and Terry yeah. Blue over there making these little old lists. Say, man, y'all wrong for that. Terry Blue, shout out to Terry Blue, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Check yeah, it, man. Hey, man. Big D. Big D the mogul, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Holla at your boy, man. It's a unique. Thank you. Say top three film producer all time. We got to hit that. Man, thank you, bro. No, no. no. I need you to tell me. <laughs> no, thank you, man. Who What's you? It? Who's your top three? No, he think you're telling him yeah, that because, he's the top three. Because he pointed at yeah, me. Yeah, he think no, you're no, telling you him that he's the top three. Say, listen, this is what... <laughs> let me tell you something. This is what he did. He said, top, he said, three, top three producers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> top three. Who's yeah. your top Who three? Who is your top Tyler three? Tyler Perry, one of them. Uh, you, don't like no. the dude. you don't like dudes wearing dresses. No, 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 let's be real. Yeah, 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 but... You but don't agree with that. I don't like dudes nah, wearing... I said that. No, no, listen. I don't like dudes wearing dresses, but that didn't have nothing to do with it. No, I, it did have something to do so with it. So who is your top three? <laughs> my, my top three will be like John Singleton. Okay. Quentin Tarantino. Well, oh, that's hard. You got some hard ones. Probably the Hughes Brothers. Okay. Probably like to beat the hell out of you. Yeah. I'm <laughs> not playing with them niggas, man. Yeah. Trying to mess that boy off from the society. You didn't think I knew that, did you? Yeah. Yeah, I believe, yeah, yeah. but Hughes brothers hard. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. So, Dead so, president. so, so, who your top few actors of all time? Yeah. Um, that are alive. I would say Tupac. Yeah, man, for sure. And um, male or female? Um. <laughs> That means you better name a female. That's what that means. Yeah, no, I don't name no damn. You do what you want. That's what that means. Uh, that don't mean nothing. For sure, Denzel Washington. Ooh, you can't get no woman in there after this. We got it's tough, tough. You know, no. So how's your P. Hensel ain't gonna get hey, in there. Make the right Hell choice. Out, man. Viola Davis. Ah! <laughs> no, he just threw that up for you because that nigga know he wanted to say, nigga, you think Viola Davis better than Forrest Whitaker, nigga? Forrest Whitaker coming up that line, nigga? You crazy. Forrest Whitaker cold. It's hard to get. What? Viola Davis is the Danny Glover, Mike, yo. 
You know what I'm saying? Viola Davis, she cold too. Though. She, she, old, she, she top tier for sure. Jamie Foxx, nigga, go, <laughs> man. You crazy, nigga. Ray, <laughs> man, come on, man. You over that trip? But I do love Angela <laughs> Bassett. Angela Bassett, they all mm-hmm. top no, tier. No, don't make me keep going. Eddie Murphy, I'm gonna keep going. So, so let me ask you something, E. Who do you like better out of Jamie Foxx and Denzel Washington, and why? He Jamie, gonna be biased. Jamie Foxx. I, See, I knew he was gonna say, say that. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that too. So what? <laughs> I can tell you why. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you why. Why? Because he Texas. Why Texas, Texas nigga? Because he Texas. Texas. That's it. I That's it. Know. I already know. Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Who had the best verse on on the, uh, uh, Jay-Z and uh, Bum B? Big Pimpin'. Big Pimpin'. Oh. Pimp. Pimp. <laughs> <laughs> we in Texas, yeah. nigga. I told y'all, nigga. Like, yeah. Because if anybody don't listen to that song and hear when he say, "Now what y'all know about them Texas boys?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you from yeah. Texas, you cannot go. To, I had to argue with dudes at the barbershop. How could you even ever say that you from Texas, man? And you know, Pimp <laughs> did his thing on there. Like it was he just eight it, bars. He you are really, it was yeah, just eight yeah, bars. The beat really wasn't the type of beat that he was on. Usually, that you used to him being over. He came and did the Pimp <laughs> season. <laughs> He knew he was going to take it down through that too. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do the yeah. JC. Yeah. I'm doing yeah. the pimp yeah. on yeah. 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 That's what made did. him the hardest yeah. ever to do it. That boy was bad, but man. See, but see, the thing about it is, Pimp is the only one that's a real song maker. He going to make the beat. He going to make the hook. He going to make the verses and all that. So he knew that if he come off like that, mm-hmm. that the club was going to smoke it, I pour he, it. He up. had that old jerky. Yeah, yeah. He, can't he, had, that, yeah, he, he had, had that old jerky. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't give him but eight bars and he did not get on the boat. <laughs> he didn't make, make it on the boat, did he? Damn, he didn't make it on the boat. Did. <laughs> Damn, he didn't make it on the boat. <laughs> Not partying with you like that, bud. I mean, we cool and all. <laughs> I think, yeah. 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 <laughs> Say, man, check it, man. That's how I go down on Boss Talk 101, man. I had a great time here today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Love you, sure. brothers, man. Me and you go back 30 years, man. This oh, cat yeah. go back 30 sure. years. Yeah. I've been in Dallas. You let these cats know. Oh, they don't man. know me in Dallas. They say, oh, we don't know it. Let them know. The man. real was no. Yeah. Oh, yeah no, the sure, real man. was no, man. For sure, Dallas. Right. For sure. Before you end, I want to know, because I love to hear stories. Give me one story about him. We don't know nothing like that. I'm a real live hustler. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm slick in the streets. Like you know I'm slick in the streets. Be quiet. He, he um he was slick in the streets. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> tell me but a story. He was always, you know, he was a, you know, like I said, this is the '90s, so I was a young kid. But yeah, he was. He was always older. He was a hustler, and you know, something that you can look up to, and you know. Try to keep youngsters that you know little bad kids out of trouble because you know he probably didn't already. We was thinking like man, you know, but one of them guys that was real OG in the hood that they really try to keep you straight to this day. They to try this to day, keep you straight. <laughs> Even though he was doing his thing, then he a totally different guy now. But you know, he didn't try to get y'all involved. No. Nah, nah, he yeah, be like y'all sit down, we play football. You know, they watch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? we play like football that. all the time over there, but. So yeah, he'll give you real Take it game. Take all the way back. You he'll can have little Papa the same thing. I'm just asking because yeah, you know yeah. some people who do what you did. The same yeah. day. No, Lil some Papa people who sure. do what you did, they'll be like trying to recruit. No, no, so I'm, I'm just on checking. another level. So I'm, I'm city to city, state to state. Get him the rent. That's what yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm city to city, state to state. I'm not, I'm not dealing with neighborhoods like that. You don't, you don't know the business. It's not Jamaica. I know his family for sure. I know his family, his brothers, Everybody. He know everybody. That's the one thing about him. He know everybody. When he seen me on here, he knew. He like, yeah. How many girls used to see him with? See, that's that's, that's, that's the bottom line. (laughs) That's that's what he's trying to get to. You know, just like I was saying about E, everything he been doing been top tier. So I knew when he in this game, it's going to be top tier for sure. Yeah, Yeah. I know. I, and, and that's the way we always brought it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what people don't realize, that there's some real stumped down dudes in the city that can bring up some creativity like yourself, you know, and do something that's going to make waves, that's going to touch the world. That's the whole game. For sure. Touch the world, man. Don't 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 play with this. Your, your skill set, I love the fact that you say you're going out there and work with sick because at the end of the day, what your gift is, man, can bless a whole lot of people, man. Man, 100. And that's the oh. part where I want to see you do that Miami film and I can come down there and get on the boat, baby. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. yeah. You want that one too, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't yeah. need that. I'm sticking with it, man. <laughs> yeah. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's 
been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.